Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Jenny Coder. Today we have an amazing problem for you guys. So the problem's called battleship and a board, right? So this is a very, very good one, right? So it says given a N by N matrix, right? Where each cell is a battleship X or an empty or dot, right? Return the number of battleships on a board, right? So it says uh, battleships can only be placed horizontally or vertically on a board right so it says in order in other words they can only be made in the shape of one times k which is one row in k columns right or k times one which is k rows and one column right so very interesting right they're telling us so it can be either one long ver like you know vertically or one long horizontally right like that right so this is what we need to keep in mind guys right as we're going through this right so it says uh where k can be of any size right so it's at least one horizontal or vertical cell separate the uh separates between two battleships right i.e we don't have to worry about no adjacent battleships right which is interesting because it uh, makes it a lot uh more interesting so uh we see that uh looking at it visually we can see there's two battleships right so she's one battleship right and this is another one right she's one a bigger battleship right so we have two battleships so for this example we have zero battleships because guys right there are no x's which the x's they represent right a battleship right so because of that we don't have that right so yeah um yeah so how can we solve this problem guys what's kind of the intuition that we need to solve this guys right so uh so we're given a board right and x or battleships and and dot are pretty much empty right so we need to find a way to count all of the different battleships on the board right so she sounds very 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 similar actually to count the number of islands right kind of problem that we did in the past guys right so uh, it just seems like what we got to do guys is to uh, iterate through the board right you know what i'm saying so we iterate every row for every row we iterate every column right um what we need to do is to when, when we encounter in a cell right when we encounter uh, x right we start our uh, we start our exploration on on exploration on that uh, whole battleship, right? So every connected X to that X that we encounter, right, we will uh, account for it, right, by doing some kind of marking to say that you know the node has been visited, right, right. And then we visit all of their neighbors, and we visit all of the different board of the all of the battleship, right? You know what I'm saying? Can't even call it island, right? That's how similar it is to the other one, right? But this one is even simpler, right? Uh, it's, it's the same code, pretty much, right? So we explore all of the exits, right? You know, there's only one X by itself, right? Just ch chilling by its, its own. So we don't worry about that. We keep going. And we mark it so that we don't visit it again, right? And then we keep going, going, and we encounter another X, right? We visit all of the neighbors, right? All of the different, uh, right, uh, neighbors. And then we mark them, and then we say, cool, this is this this was our second aspiration, right? So that means there's two different ones, right? So that's how we're going to do it. We, we, every time we encounter an X, right, we visit all of the uh, battleship, right? And then for each exploration, we're going to have a... a counter that's going to help us in keeping track of how many times we had to explore an independent battleship right you know what i'm saying that's kind of the, the mindset the logic behind uh what i'm saying this guys right so you can see this is very very similar to this other problem right it's the same kind of logic it's the same kind of thought process to solve this problem guys so let's quickly go ahead with the implementation right if you guys were able to follow let me know right if not do let me know so i can get some feedback so I can help improve uh, the way I'm explaining things to you guys, right? So what I said we're going to have, guys, right? Let me zoom in even bigger, right? So everybody can see what I'm doing. Or we're going to have a counter, right? Counter and it's like initialize to zero. And then let's get the need some, some data, right? So we get the number of rows equals to the board. That way. The number of columns. Right, equals to the board. Right, that one. 
So we get the number of columns, right? So now we're going to start iterating through the um, the more, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to have a pointer. I, I is less than the number of rows. I plus plus, right? And then we do for every row, we're going to have to visit every column. G is less than the number of calls. G plus plus, okay. After that, guys, so uh, we're going to have a check. If the board of I, okay, equals to uh, X, right? And we know that it has not been visited yet, right? So we need to go ahead and start doing exploration, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do, do a DFS, right? To explore all the different, uh, uh, the, the whole board pretty much, right? The, the whole the battleship, right? So, the, so that's what I'm doing this, right? So we're gonna pass in the board, right? We're gonna pass in the coordinates, right? I and J, right? And after we do that, we're gonna increment the count guys, right? To let us know this is, one time we had to explore it. So we know that this is one extra board that we haven't seen there. And after that, guys, what we're going to do is to return the count at the end, right? So now all what's left for us to do right, is to implement our DFS function, which is very, very similar to these, to the other problem, guys, right? So board, I don't want to explain anything, helper. Now let's call it DFS, that's what we say we called it. All right. So we're gonna take in what guys? We're gonna take in the board, right? And also we're gonna take in I and J. So we know that where we're at on the board, right? So now guys, what we're gonna do, if I is less than zero or I uh, is greater equal to board that length. So just making sure that we're staying in, in bounds, guys. Right? So all that we're doing, see, right? Okay, we make sure that we're in bounds. And uh, also one last check that we need to do, guys. Right? If the the board, right? I don't know if you guys can see it, but let me just try to, or if the board of I and J, right, does not equal to uh, X, right? If it's not equal to X, guys, we simply need to return. That's not a path that we need to explore on, right? This is what we're doing. So this is, I'm not even gonna waste my time. So it's X, when it, once it goes to the it's right, it doesn't need to explore that path. There's nothing there, right? There's not, it's not a, it's not part of the battleship, right? So we're not we're not gonna account for it. Right? And then um so what else we're gonna do? We're gonna have to do DFS on all of our neighbors, right? To explore, to do exploration, guys, right? Just uh right, so we're gonna do board. We're gonna pass we're gonna pass in the parameters, right? So this is gonna be copied five times. <laughs> I'm just stripping. Uh, this is going to be copied four times, right? Right, so what we're going to do, guys, uh, we're going to uh, go down. We're going to go up. We're going to go to our right. We're going to go to our left, right? This is what we're doing here, right? So now before we explore in our neighbors, guys, right? Uh, we don't want to visit here and then here. It's going to call here, right? Again, right? You know what I'm saying? But for you to know that this has been visited yet, right? Once we hit, so it can hit that check, guys, right? So it can return. We don't, need to, we don't need to explore that path anymore, right? So we need to mark the nodes that have been visited, guys, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to do um, a board, IJ. We're going to mark it, say, hey, this has been visited, right? Whatever logic you want to implement is up to you, but this is a very neat way of doing it. Just put a, a different character than the X, right? Because we only want to explore the X's, right? So that's what is important, right? So to a quick recap, right? We have a, so we have, we iterate through a board, right? So every time we encounter X, we initiate an exploration of DFS so that it could count 
all of its all, all the battleship right the, everything in the battleship right so we mark all of the x's that are connected to that same x that you do exploration on right so so it, if they're connected that means it's part of the same battleship right so it counts as one right so every time we do exploration then which is why every time we do exploration right we increment our counters uh plus one right because that every time we, we see x that means that we that's an x that we haven't explored on yet right and then the dfs function right does dfs regular dfs guys right we explore uh we we market the node as visited right the cell is visited and then we visit all of our neighbors right which is um the four direction that we're allowed right which is important right there's no diagonal so that's not something we need to worry about so let's press run code guys see if we pass a small test case okay it looks like we're good let's see if we pass all the test cases awesome guys we'll put it past all the test cases guys so we were passing you know extremely fast as well faster than 100 percent that means we're doing something right all right so thank you guys for taking the time to kind of watch this video guys if you guys found value make sure to give me a like if you guys are new here make sure to subscribe because i'll be doing a lot of other videos just like this one so i want to thank thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video